Get up. Mm. What an itchy. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. <gasps> but I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm uh, not her dad. Name's Lee. I'm Kenny. Dad, Hi, Kenny. No offense. There's a tractor and everything. We better get going, or we won't hear the end of it. That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. Duck? Yeah, nothing bothers him. Like water off a duck's back, you know? That's a valuable treat lately. <laughs> no kidding. But frankly, I think it's because he's dumb as a bag of hammers. Dad! Duck could be up. But he makes up for it with enthusiasm. <laughs> The word is you were on your way to Macon. My family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. Sure, we'll yeah. tag along. It's a plan, then. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Oh, I agree. Thanks. Yeah. Well, we should we get to work. Know. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence. <laughs> yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? Cool! Duck and I will hop to it. You can see in his facial expressions. I can keep an eye on your little girl here, here on the porch. Dumb, like a bag we of can hammers. Hey there, girls. So, uh, what do you do when corpses aren't walking around? I'm a veterinarian back in Fort Lauderdale. Like Herschel here, except more with dogs and cats and uh, not horses. What is it that you do, Lee? I used to teach up at the University of Georgia. We need to hope that we can go back to our jobs soon, Lee. Mm. Back to normal. It can't stay like this. No, I used to. I was let go a little while back. That's too bad. Well, I hear people always clamor back to college after a big disaster. Mm. People don't want to die ignorant, I guess. Oh, yeah. You two actually look relaxed. Catch -ja. Catch -ja. I think we're doing just fine. Clementine was just telling me about first grade. Oh, uh, how's that? It's easy. Well, yeah. <laughs> So, you're good? Anyway, it's almost like we didn't see people eating each other for the past three days. It's peaceful here, no? Back in a bit. Okay, Lee. Okay. Now what? Now, Kenny. Hey there, uh, Kenny. You didn't Need help? any help? No, I think I got it. Do you need any help? What do you mean? I mean in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? I think I've got it handled okay. Yeah, I'd be fine. As long as I keep her safe, I think I'm doing all right. With those things out there, maybe. Sure, that's enough. But you gotta ask yourself if you're the type of guy who can do better than that if her parents don't show up. I'll keep that in mind. So what's your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Government will start handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. Well, on the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. Yeah, have got a boat. I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. Mm. See you. Actually, let's ask about him. His son, maybe. Hey there. Maybe we'll find hey. out something new. How's your son doing? Good, I think. Kachi's got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station and some guy grabbed my boy. Oh. I thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds and... Christ. Just lucky I was there. Mm. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's. But we're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. You're a strong man, Kenny. 
Seems like those two are getting along. Mm, actually, it's a good idea to talk about everything then. Wait, what was that? How's hey. the city? How did you handle getting through the city? Kenny just drove. We passed so many people that needed help, and we just passed people over some. Just, just. Uh, it's okay. It's fine. You don't have to say anymore. I want to go home tomorrow, but even then, I can't take away the things we. The things Doc went through. That's horrible. Don't you want to go back to the moment before you knew about all of this? Anybody in their right mind would. Families mm. and barbecues and beers with good friends. All of those things. Those are the things we live for, right? With those gone, what's the point? Back in Survival. The okay, Lee. I didn't finish what I was saying earlier that we might need those guys to survive. Like it's bad to be in a bit bigger group, to have friends, to be a team. Head dark. How you doing, Doc? Good. I'm gonna drive the tractor. I'm the foreman. <laughs> Lift with your back, Sean. You know how to drive it? Sure don't. I can give you a hell of a critique of the U.S. Farm Bill, though. I'm good. Okay, let's ask him for help. I mean, does he need any help? Hey, Lee. Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bites to length, that sure speed things up. Okay, let's cut them. Easy job. <laughs> My dad doesn't know how bad it is. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. Was the boy one of the walkers? I don't even know. He was either attacking the guy or asking for help. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. Wow. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh. Uh... I had to shoot one. I could shoot one. Maybe. If it were far away. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. How about yours? How's your family? Mm. My brother yeah. and parents are in Macon. I hope. Oh man, I hope so too. Maybe it's not too bad there. Hopefully. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. And Sean? Thanks again for the ride. No problem, Lee. Couldn't leave you behind. Anyway, when you see my dad around, he might want some help in the barn. Okay, let's go help him then. That was a quick walk. The steering is a bit weird. How'd you get out of Atlanta? I got a ride and then I was in a wreck. I walked until your boy found me. Hmm. Well, you're no worse for wear. Uh, this farm's a nice plot of land. Huh. Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Never was a plan, having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. It's all that matters. You agree with that? Was brought up to, yes. Where's your family now? Parents? Wife? Girlfriend? My parents are in Macon with my brother. Well, I hope they're all right. But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? Yes, you just it stumbled is. up on her? Yeah. I was looking for help in her house. Hmm. 
Can I give you a piece of advice? What is it, mate? What is it? I don't know who you are or what you did. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're going to have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're going to make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're going to be in trouble. Oh, and I'd start checking the attitude, friend. Go! I'll get my gun! Let's bet Harry. What's happening? What's happening? Uh, run, mate. Run, Lee. Uh oh. Quickly, grab a kid. Now, quickly, go help the other guy. Lee, hurry up! Move, move, move. I think he's angry. Get the fuck out of here! Yep, he's pissed. I'm sorry. Sorry? Your son is alive. You don't get to be sorry. And you, you didn't even try to help. I thought I could help them both. Look at him. You thought wrong. And now. But it was him Please. or a little boy. Just go. Get out and never come back. <sighs> I'm sorry, Herschel. But I, I had to do it. I had to make it if you want it. At least we got to make him. Well, this is as far as we're going. And it's far enough. Hmm. friendly trucks run out of gas I think that's a bad idea screaming Fuck! Um, hmm? yeah when will they learn oh no pretty girl and mate what you doing here yeah? Yes, look. We can't take risks like this. And we can't just let people die either. When I say that door stays shut no matter what, I fucking mean it. We don't know who these people are. They could be dangerous. Worse, they could have let them right to us. Where the hell is your humanity? We have kids with us. I see one little girl. What is it? I... I have to pee. I'd go out there again in a second. I bet you would. Then just go. 
They've got kids, Lily. Those things outside don't care. Maybe you should go join them then. You'll have something in common. God Agreed, damn yeah. it, Lily. You have to control these people. Carly and Glenn just ran out there. I don't give a flying fuck. We're in a war zone. She's not wrong. They took a risk. Yes, we did. And mm. we appreciate it. Now let's settle down. Holy shit. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. No, he's not. He wasn't bitten. Hell, he wasn't. We have to end this now. Over my oh. dead body, we'll dig one hole. No, I'm cleaning him up. There's no bite. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen. We let someone with a bite stay in, and we all end up bitten. Shut mm -hmm. up. We gotta throw him out, or smash his head in. Kenny, stop him! Hey, what do we do about this guy? Dad, it's just a boy. It's... Lily, I'll handle this. But your heart, Dad. Kick his ass. You need to calm down. We kick his ass. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> Everyone, chill the fuck out. I don't like this guy. Doing anything. Shut up, Lily. And you, shut the fuck up. They will find us, and they will get in here, and none of this will fucking matter. But right now, we're about to be trapped in here with one of those things. You were the those things. About? He's bitten. That's how you turn. He's not bitten. Lee, stop this. It's upsetting him. Oh, I'm upsetting him. Upsetting is getting eaten alive. What if this was your daughter? Never would have happened. She's <laughs> killed some snot-nosed toddler, okay? She's United States Air Force. Oh, fuck you and her. Mm. I'm gonna kill him, Cat. Just worry about Duck. <laughs> Lee! Yeah? There's someone in there. It's just locked. Keys behind the counter. Probably. Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. I'm just looking out for my daughter. No, you're just the guy arguing for killing a kid. He's covered mm -hmm. in muck. She'll find the bite. Watch. She won't. And if she does, the first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Sure. Then, once she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. Then we deal with it then. But right now, we're just freaking everybody out. Then get ready to deal with it, because that boy is it's bitten. not gonna happen. It is. And we're and tossing him out now. No! You don't touch that boy. You don't touch anybody. I've got a little girl I'm trying to protect in here, too. You want to get violent, you old fuck? Well, come <laughs> on! You better have a Tell plan him, to Lee. kill me, though, because it's me before anyone else in here! <laughs> Oh fuck. Seriously? No, Lee, Lee. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Get away from her, you son of a bitch! Quickly. Quick, 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 quick. Stronger, man! Stronger! That was close. Man. You okay? Thank you. Just great, thanks. I like the girl. Uh, guys? Everybody down. Stay quiet. Now let's hope they don't get in here. Get in. Shut up. Is that the military? I don't know. Thank God for whatever it is. We almost died because of this bitch and a Richie trigger finger. That was stupid. That was. Uh, uh, Dad! Uh, 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 die! Die! Just die! Was he the one bitten? No. Don't be crazy. <laughs> it's his heart. My oh. pills. Um, nitroglycerin pills? Yes, we're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there. Behind the counter where the pills are. There's probably another entrance. Maybe through the office. How do you know that's an office? Uh, educated guess. It doesn't matter. <laughs> we need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. Everyone else should get comfortable for anything to? useful. We could be in here a while. 
I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Agree. Agree, yeah. Then I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. That'd be great. Damn, that'd be great. Well, it's gotta get done. Plus, I'm quick, and I know Macon. Local? Born and raised. Mm. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you, what's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Keep a good eye Lily on Lily and Larry. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot, and I'd like to keep it that way. <laughs> you got it, boss. Now get him those pills. I don't like those two. Central High Tech State. Papers a week old. Feels like years. Mm. What are you messing around with there? A radio. I can't get it to work, though. Here, let me have a look. Hmm. Hmm, nothing. She probably did not think about pressing the button. Hmm? Stay with nothing. That's probably the batteries. Yep, there's no batteries. There are no batteries in this thing. What now? Do you know that there are no batteries in that thing? <laughs> yeah, of course. I mean, yeah. No. I can try to find some. Needs two. Thanks. I wouldn't even really know what to look oh. for. The IT guy. Heard or seen anything? <gasps> Nothing, luckily. Wanna step outside, have a look around? <laughs> I'm not no. suicidal yet. No, the gate out there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Oh, all right. Then the small. Sure. Let's go have a look around. Cool. And we'll keep it down. Don't need to bring them back this way with any unnecessary noises. Agreed. Let's see what you Jesus. find outside. There's a lot of those bastards, I must say. I think I'm gonna be they just eat. As far as I can tell, that's all they care about. And if one gets you, they eat you. And whatever's left comes back as one of them. How the fuck? I think it might be more than a couple days before all this gets sorted out. Probably, yeah. yeah. I think so too. We better keep it down out of here. <laughs> Too bad we don't have a way to come out here and watch the news. Would be nice to know what's going on elsewhere. Atlanta's in rough shape, and that's all I know. I can't reach that brick. <sighs> I don't know. Look at the one trapped over there. Better him than us, huh? That's... Oh, shit. That's what? someone from his family. Do you know that guy? He could be a drugstore employee. So you're saying he might have the pharmacy keys? I'm saying he might have the pharmacy keys. Why he won't tell could them that they... They start rotting and get all chewed up and... Shut up, Doug. Yeah, why does he tell them that they're... That Look says at the uniform, family's no. pharmacy store? He could have worked at the drugstore and died with keys in his pocket. It would take a lot of effort to make it safe enough to go out there and see if he has the keys. If we could somehow prove that he worked here, I think it'd be worth it. I'll see what I can find. Hey man, what are you doing? 
We can't even think about going out there unless the keys are out there for sure. Come on, that's a stupid thing. Let's head back inside. Okay. That's really stupid. He should just tell him that's his pharmacy store. That's his family's pharmacy store. Photographs. Hmm. No, I'm sorry to hear your loved one was eaten by the living dead guards. Ah, <laughs> uh, it would we be can't useful. Let anything happen to Ducky. I know, hon. We got one battery. I don't remember them very well. We just need to get back to Fort Lauderdale. We'll do our damnedest. It's all melted now. Let's Haley, see how they're doing. You really gave that old man hell. Yeah. We got pushed, you know? You don't have to tell me. I was ready to tear the man's head off. <laughs> anyway. We, Cat and I, appreciate your support. Don't Thank worry, you. Kenny. How's Duck doing? He's okay. It was just a shock. We're lucky as hell nobody got nabbed on the way in here. No mm. kidding. How's she doing? Well, her family's dead, so... That's awful, Lee. Yeah, well... She seems to be handling herself all right. She's just a little girl, Ken. Lee says she spent days on her own. That takes toughness. But you have no idea what sort of emotional damage is happening to her every second her family is gone. Are you guys all right? Oh, we're just fine, considering. How about you, Duck? We've all been through a lot. Okay, what's, what's the plan? Hang tight, I suppose. Seems pretty dangerous out there, so we ought to wait for things to clear up. You said your family was from here in Macon? That's right. Where are they? Should we go looking for them? They, uh, own this place. They're uh, gone. Oh, sweetie. Cat. Mm, that's were horrible. People. I wasn't around much, but yeah, they're dead. Lee. You got a second? Sure. Okay, sure. Back on Herschel's farm. Yeah. We didn't even try to save him. That blood is on our hands, you know? It happened pretty fast. I guess. But I can't yeah, stop seeing it in my head. We can't kill ourselves. Over we it. killed that boy. We could have saved him together. We did what we could. Bad things happened. We didn't make a choice that killed Sean. You think you do when you look back on it, but in a moment, when things are really out of control, you don't have any choice. I agree. I guess. Try to let it go. Okay, let's continue again into the office and searching the store. Energy bar, oh, that might be useful. Hmm. I don't know why, but my mouse feels just like it's losing its uh, sensitivity sometimes. Don't know why. Take it. ATM probably it's useless. Damaged. Glad this place didn't get looted. Probably all the looters died before they had chance to Looks do like anything. Nobody got a chance to donate anything before this all went down. This battery should fit the radio. Great, thanks. So he needs one more, right? I'm still looking for batteries for that thing. Thanks, I appreciate it. Yep, there's still one more missing. How's Clem doing? Talk to her. Hey there. Hi. 
Any word from Glenn? Nothing. Is he okay? Yeah, I think so. You're doing a good job. Can I, uh, get you anything? I'm okay. Maybe I'm a little hungry. I'll see about that. So, um... Are you okay? What? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I just, uh... I'm good. <laughs> That's good. Yeah, I, I think so. Uh, I'm good. That's good. Good, is good. Despite the circumstances. Yep. We'll sit tight. Okay. It's not much, but here you go. Thank you. Of course. We still got two more. Oh no. Not them. Try to get some rest, hun. How can it's not much but here for the boy. Oh, thanks, Lee. He appreciates it. That's sweet, Lee. Uh, looks like we're gonna stay with them for a while, so it's better to give them. It's not much. But so then we're not so much assholes sure? for us. Yeah. You're under quite a bit of stress. Thanks. That's, uh, really sweet. Don't mention it. Maybe she will stand on our sides if Larry will go mental. 